Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and this is the latest update from Ukraine, here are some photos, news and videos. First news we have from Germany, our embassy there stated that those anti-aircraft missiles will be sent for Ukraine in October, those are RST, not long-range missiles, but middle up to short range, but those will be enough to defend Kyiv, however, you know, October? I think it's quite far away. The leader of European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, just went to the Kyiv recently and she is preparing recommendations for EU member states. As you probably know, Ukraine wants to join European Union for now and we should be like candidate. We are applying as a candidate position for the European Union. I honestly don't know whether it's the right thing to do for Ukraine because I see that some of the countries are leaving European Union it happened to Great Britain United Kingdom and probably gonna get close allies to our close friends like Poland Latvia Litva Estonia and UK and United States of America but maybe I'm wrong and we should join European Union with other countries like Hungary that doesn't really support Ukraine together with the Bulgaria probably but I'm still grateful for Bulgaria and Hungary because they support Ukrainian refugees at least and they do a lot for humanitarian needs in Ukraine. But for now, of course, we need weapons, my friends. Lots of weapons and we are struggling with that. For today, there were two of the big attacks from Russian side. One in Papasna area, probably they offended towards Zolote, but that attack was stopped by Ukrainian troops. And the same happened near to Bogorodichne. If you check out my latest video about the situation there, I told you that they were able to cross, some of their forces were able to cross the river, and I think uh, they were unable to get the city itself. I mean, Bogorodichne under their control, they just took the Svetogirsk on the other shore of the river. Ukraine army will get the remote controlled robots. Uh, the manufacturer is Talon. I don't know where was it uh, produced in Ukraine or elsewhere. I think not in Ukraine. So it looks like this. Uh, the robot uh, with caterpillars and with hand and of course many cameras. I think it's useful tool to demine the areas for our civilians and for our military. The article of New York Times saying that um, behind the enemy lines, right? So our partisans in Kherson Oblast were able to correct the artillery fire to fire towards Russian command spots and because of that two of the Russian generals lost their lives. Whether it happened recently or not, I'm not sure about it. And there were two of the cases reported where our partisans Partisans eliminated two of the Russian soldiers in Energodar. Just to remind you, there is the biggest nuclear power station in the Eastern Europe. Japan is preparing to increase the budget for the army because they think that situation similar to Ukraine is possible in Asian region. There were some of the reports that the Ukrainian army is going on the counterattack near to Tavriske and some reports say that we took this village, however on a chart that I used to review, this village is under control by Russian troops. Alright, this video was filmed in Sevastopol, Crimea. This is the occupied territory of Ukraine by Russians and actually it's my hometown, my friends, and I want to see it back in Ukraine someday, hopefully very soon. And this is the cemetery, the military one, and they just built it. You see many flowers, uh, Russian flags, etc. As you can see, many of the Russian soldiers are deep into Ukrainian ground for a long time. Well, they decided to, they made their choice, I would say, and now this is their revenge. There's no war without casualties, my friends. They may call it special operation, but if you look at the cemetery, my friends, it's the war. We have some of the reports saying that Mitolkin and Warnova near to Serdonetsk that were freed uh, from Russian occupants now occupied again by Russian Federation. The Caesar artillery system given to Ukraine by France. Thank you very much French people for supporting the donation for Ukrainian army. 
uh, well actually taxpayers also um, that you support this delivery to Ukraine my friends uh, that systems are awesome they use the shells that can be detonated even before they reach the ground to fight against the soldiers and there is no way how they can hide in trenches the pity thing that we don't have lots of those scissors so basically they have the range i think up to 40 kilometers if i'm not mistaken and standard nato caliber 155 millimeters awesome track very mobile and very precise german made artillery systems will be delivered to ukraine at the end of this month then in july and august hopefully because they promised a lot but so far we don't see heavy weapons from germany this is how russia tried to cross the river near to Serdonetsk with less forces than before then they were devastated so here even with less forces they were devastated some of their tanks just sank in the river and the parts and btrs well our artillery works well we got some information from the international court in netherlands uh, about this uh, tragedy that happened in, in ukraine airspace uh, back in 2014 when russia uh, fired the rocket towards uh, the boeing 777 that was shut down over the bus area so the court said that there are four uh, people uh, of russian army uh, actually chiefs of the russian army uh, they were the suspect of this case and they were investigated and prosecuted so we have the final decision of the court in uh, november or december this year hopefully my friends and of course there should be hard punishments for those people who killed lots of civilians on that flight MH17, my friends will never forget the tragedy. Here we have the Russian tank and what is on it? The TV. There are murders that are taking everything from Ukrainian civilians uh, from their houses. As you can see, yeah, this is kind of TV they wanted to take to Russia. What the, <laughs> my friends, I don't know what this guy is holding. Obviously, Ukrainian soldier, but... I don't know what this uh, wonder rifle we have in our army tell me in the comment section because i don't really know and it's very interesting for me what this rifle is used for emmanuel macron the french leader saying that they will send more heavy weapons to ukraine thank you so much we already have scissors and we need more of them here on the battlefield as you probably know, Russia wanted to occupy the Kiev in just three days. So what they did, they got this old uh, kind of passports. They are blank, they are empty, and they send them to the front lines to count the civilians. So for every civilians, uh, civilian guy will have this kind of USSR passport my friend it's crazy and this is the training process our ukrainian artillery soldiers were trained by norwegian instructors because we got norwegian artillery systems self-propelled the m109 we have some of them as you can see and they're teaching us how to fire properly uh, from those artillery systems how to shell the enemy side we have some information that russia prepares more attacks on ukrainian cities they brought more caliber rockets that they use on their ships they brought them to crimea and we also got the information that they are in lack of those calibers if we speak about their army they already used many of them and now they start to use all soviet rockets that are in luck in precision all right as you know turkey applied veto on finland and sweden to join the nato alliance and turkish officials say that uh, sweden and finland should meet some demands that turkey has for them to join the nato alliance and today finland said no to those demands and probably they will not enter nato alliance for now We'll see it in the future. This is the funny one. George Gallo got this mark. Russia state affiliated media. Obviously because he is a British politician. And he is affiliated with Russia. And he was like. What is happening? Was it The label about this tweet is a lie. And Elon Musk <laughs> tweeted back. Uh, Prosti Sorry comrade. <laughs> of 
quite funny because Elon Musk tweeted in Russian and it's, it's kind of funny. All right, so according to the latest information, the Russians took Voronova and Metolkina, so we control the third part of the Severodonetsk. That's uh, what the mayor of the city told to the news. In Ukraine, we actually can communicate with our president. There is the special website where you can put your petition and if it gets 25,000 approvals, it will go to the president and president, he or she, will have to say something. No, yes, I don't know, but he or she needs to say something. This time it's petition for Zelensky because he's the president of our country. The petition says, uh, we should ask the President Macron to take uh, to give the part of the France to Russia to save the face of Putin. Uh, that's a kind of joke petition because uh, Macron said that we should save uh, Putin, we should not humiliate Russia. So here people became kind of angry with that. And now we have that petition, it has just 282 votes for, but probably it will get 25,000. But my friends, still I'm happy that we have Emmanuel Macron as a president in France, instead of other politicians that could have made it even worse for Ukraine. So thank you, France, for giving us heavy weapons. And this is Sri Lanka, my friends. Uh, the people there in desperate situation, they are starving, they are now on their rights against uh, the government they have there. Why is it happening? Well, because first of all, the world was basically shut down for two years because of the health crisis. I will not use this word for YouTube because this video will be blocked, obviously. So the health crisis, yeah, you know, two years we were locked down. And after that, now we have the war, we have the problems with food supplies from Ukraine, from Russia, wherever, and people are on their rights. It's just the first uh, country you see. There will be many more people who will be in desperate situation because of the war in Ukraine. This is the Russian Suhoi Su-25. We also have them in our army that are used to fight uh, the ground aims, tanks, armored vehicles, etc. So as you see, it was uh, hit by uh, Ukraine, maybe Manpad or something like Stinger. And I think you need lots of resources to restore this uh, airplane to fly again so we may count it as minus one probably but i'm not sure about it and the last news for today my friends biden stated that zelensky ignored the warning from the western countries and particularly from united states that the war is imminent he didn't believe in that obviously my friends i didn't believe it uh, as well. The majority of our people couldn't believe, my friends, that Russia would dare to fire rockets to Ukraine. My friends, we were not 100% prepared. However, we fought against Russians and we caused them to retreat from the Kyiv area, Chernigiv, Sumy and part of the Kharkiv area. And I'm sure that our government, together with Zelensky and army, could have performed in better way. And we have the information, confirmed information, that the way from the Crimea towards Kherson and Mariupol was demined by something. So here we have the violations that should be investigated and actually it's the crime against the country. So who actually opened the way for Russians to enter to Ukraine from Crimea? So far we don't know. This information is classified so I don't know no one knows but we have that information in our media resources that is why I am speaking about it so I'm sure yes Ukraine should have prepared better so obviously we are not ideal my friends and I wouldn't blame Zelensky right now because now we are in a state of war and after the war is over okay we'll see could he perform better or not? But the main thing that he didn't run away, he stayed in Kyiv, then Kyiv was under attacks of Russian army and Russian missiles. My friends, I consider Zelensky as a true patriot of Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching my videos, my friends, and also press the like, subscribe to my channel. If you can, you may support me on Patreon or PayPal. Part of the money I send for charity to help Ukrainian people. I wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are. 
have a great time.